Dan Larson here at the photo booth with a box of stuff sent in by... Well, I don't know who it was sent in by. There's no return address. There's no letter inside that I saw at the top here. Uh, it's very likely that it's someone who I had a conversation with prior to receiving the box, but I do have a lot of conversations with people who are sending stuff in. And I am terrible at keeping track of all those conversations across social media. So if you don't write your name on the box or put in some kind of letter or something, you still have my heartfelt appreciation for sending stuff in. I just can't thank you by name. That said, if this was you, thank you. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here, so let's get to it. Uh, up first, we have a carded uh, Zartan from the 25th anniversary line of G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, this was uh, a really great line with a lot of great figures in it. Uh, I balked at this line at first. It was uh, There were several releases out uh, before I jumped in, and it wasn't until they... Because the first wave, honestly, I have to say, wasn't really that great. And even some of those figures now, looking back at them, they're, they're very weird. The very first Snake Eyes that was released in this batch of stuff, uh, the one single-carded, uh, not that great. Not that great. I actually ended up ordering it off of eBay because I started panicking and I couldn't find it in the stores. Uh, but once they got to, you know, this sort of later, later, still very early releases, I mean, this is still on the uh, Chrome foil uh, cards here. Uh, they, they they were starting to figure it out. Figures were getting much better. It's a great line. I love that line. I have almost all the figures <laughs> from that whole line. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, this is sort of an outlier as far as what uh, the other stuff that I've seen in this box. It almost doesn't even match. Uh, other than being an 80s themed line of toys. So we've got uh, some Starcom in here. This, uh, and uh, I apologize for not knowing. Uh, you know, I don't apologize. There's a lot of stuff to try to remember all the names for. Uh, and Starcom was one that I never, Starcom was a line that I got into because I just loved the designs of the stuff. Uh, I never really got into the mythology itself, and that's actually a, that's actually a common theme uh, with me and toys, uh, is just digging the stuff and not caring about the actual mythology that's involved. And this is a great example of that. Because when I got into Starcom, I didn't... Uh, honestly, I didn't even know there was a show back then. Uh, it was years before I found out there was actually an animated series associated with it. Uh, and I didn't care about the file cards... Uh, that had any of the information about who characters were, their ranks, or anything. I just picked up the stuff that I could A, afford, and B, uh, stuff that looked cool. And that's the end of that story. Uh, so here we've got uh, Die Rugger 15, uh, a.k.a. Voltron. This is the sort of a hard plastic kind of rubbery sort of thing here. I have the, uh, I already have the Lion Voltron, Go Lion. Uh, I, I've never owned the complete one of these here, and we'll see if uh, we'll see if I do now. We'll see if his arm is in there. Um, you know what? I saw this in here, and I forgot to look up the name of these uh, of this whole toy line. Um, hopefully, it'll come to me as I pull some more stuff out here. Perhaps uh, I will actually remember what it was called. Uh, oh, here we go. We got another Voltron. Uh, this time we're looking at, uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be, oops, I don't know if this is supposed to just be a light. Uh, there's no batteries in it. I don't have any batteries handy. Perhaps I will grab some momentarily. Oh, he's a little loose there. So I, gra I, gra <laughs> I grabbed some batteries uh, and, and put them in Voltron here. I don't actually know how you activate it. I don't know how you turn the light on thing, the, the light thing on here. Uh, I guess he's just supposed to be like a flashlight. I honestly don't know what he's supposed to be. But as far as Voltron goes, he's pretty... He's p as posable as the Voltron itself, uh, the full-size Voltron was. I mean, he doesn't have elbows, but his uh, his little hands do rotate. His wings move. He's got a little busted-off tail here. Uh, but I can't figure out if he's actually got a button or something. Or maybe the bulb is just dead, but uh, he's, you know, about the same scale as this other Voltron here. A little, little taller. So that's cool. We've got... Ah, God! I can't remember the name of this line. This is going to kill me. Um, all right, these go back here. This was one of those... Uh, it's not Capsella. It's not... Ah, uh, oh man, it's going to kill me. Tycho? Uh, there's no name here. Uh, but this was one of those modular type of uh, toy lines where you could build all kinds of crazy space vehicles, put all kinds of things together. All right, uh, and there's, uh, there's tiny figures that go with it, too. Uh, but I never owned any of these back in the day, and that's probably the main reason why I don't remember uh, what the name is, because I actually didn't know this line even existed until, again, very recently. And uh, I don't... It didn't stick. It didn't stick in my brains. 
Uh, this thing is nuts. <laughs> this thing, uh, I don't know if this is from like a an official official line like converters or anything, uh, but this is clearly a bombshell knockoff, the original G1 Insecticon bombshell. But it's been completely in, in robot mode. It's even more obviously bombshell. Hang on. Uh, so, you know, this is the robot mode. But it's, and he's even still got the cockpit there. Uh, but in, it's, it's, it's fascinating to me that whoever made this, you know, stole that, the, the use of that mold. Clearly, it's clearly the bombshell mold. But they, they completely turned around what the alt mode is here and made it into a scorpion where, you know, this is the face end and this is now a scorpion tail. And these are the back legs and you can still see the eyes here. Uh, but it's fascinating to me that th that much modification was made to it to make it look like a completely different thing, even though that bombshell mold is still at the core. Uh, it's abs That is such a fascinating piece. Um, one of the nicer knockoffs that uh, that I've ever seen. Uh, this is, what does it even say on his wing? It says, Bytron's Trucks, which is, uh, I can't get my camera to focus on it here. There we go. Bytron's Trucks, which I've never heard that name before. This is Zabunguru, um, a uh, battle wagon. <laughs> it says battle wagon on the wings there. This this thing has been knocked off so many times. Uh, I actually have a different knockoff version of this than this. That's a little bit closer to uh, what I assume would have been the original piece released in Japan. Uh, I also have what's left of my full size, uh, like... Not Shogun Warriors, but like um, Gudaikens style piece that actually transforms and is like 80% die cast metal. And I played the heck out of that thing. Uh, so it's just all busted up and none of the parts are still there. But I love that thing so much. My favorite part was you would open this panel in his chest and his head would fold down into it. And his little, he had like rubbery antennas and they would bend. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping his arm is in there. Uh, this is a, I think this is officially part of the converters line. Uh, I have the. I want to say I have the cash register. This is the pinball machine, which is really, really cool. And there's actually a tiny little pinball in here. And you actually have a little, uh, the flippers don't work, but you actually have a little lever here where you can actually hit the, launch the ball. Uh, that's amazing. And then of course it turns into a little robot. Who I'm not exactly sure how he transforms. Like, I'm not sure what is completely transformed here. I think these are his little arms. Eh, I don't know how they fold out. I don't want to break it. I think these pop out to the side somehow. Anyway, you can see the robot. Oh, there we go. Those pop in. That's, uh, I mean, that's pretty close. These arms pop out. They're just kind of sticking a little. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's a full extension on the arm. Ah, there. All right. Perfect. Look at that. There's a there's a handsome bot. Stickers look great on this thing. This thing looks like it's... Oh, sweet. Look at this. It's even called... Uh, the pinball game is called Space Wars. That's just fantastic. That's a degree of detail. I can't even call this a knockoff toy because it's... Uh, I don't know that it actually copies anything else, uh, first of all. So I don't know that it's knocking off a previously existing... Uh, design, but it's just so nicely done. But that said, you still would find this. I think I'm gonna guess this would have been at uh, not your finer toy stores, but, but who knows? I don't know. Hey, this is a converter. We did the uh, not a converter. Those are converters. Uh, this is a changeables McDonald's Happy Meal changeable figure that uh, I am having trouble opening up. There we go. I don't remember the names on these guys either. Uh, again, I was attracted to them as toys, not the mythology itself. <laughs> but uh, I think there's a couple others in here. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the one I already have, the uh, cash register. And I don't know how I'm gonna get that to stay in, if it can stay in. But yeah, these are just clever. I mean, who, what, no other toy line has ever taken such mundane things. I guess maybe uh, Rock Lords did. <laughs> Took some pretty mundane things. Uh, and turn them into characters. Uh, but this is just proof of how, uh, just how absolutely saturated the transforming robot market was. 
in the 80s where, you know, it was like, ah, oh, we got to do something different. What are we going to do? We can't do jets and airplanes and spaceships and anything else. We got to do something really obscure, like a cash register and a pinball machine. And what was the other one? Uh, oh, there's a slot machine, too. Got another changeable here. This is Chicken McNuggets. These were the best things in the world when they were released. Uh, everybody had these. Everybody wanted them. They were just, oh, here's uh this goes with Zabunguru. This guy's actually supposed to be giant. He's like the space carrier kind of thing. Uh, he's got a couple of busted off. Uh, he's got a couple of busted off guns here, and his whole torso is missing. So hopefully that's in the box here somewhere. This is the transport container that goes over here with Starcom. God, I loved this line so much. I still do, obviously. <laughs> um, just you know, tiny figures like. You just don't get a lot of toy lines that have stuff like this, where it's where it's the you know this just this is a construction vehicle basically. It, yeah, it's got some guns, but you know this is for deploying troops, uh, and shipping out you know um, supplies and stuff. Uh, I think can't remember if there's seats. No, there's not seats in this one. There's there's a troop transport type that has uh, seats in it, but I mean you could pack that full of guys anyway. Uh, I just loved it. I love that it was. It's like the power loader for aliens. You know, it's just like a. It's not meant to be a war type thing, but it ends up getting used that way. Just so, such a cool, to, to me, that kind of stuff really fires the imagination. Uh, this is the upper half of, I can't remember this guy's name either. Uh, this snaps in here. That's not going to connect. Uh, but anyway, I have one of these that, uh, again, is a slightly better knockoff version than this. Bitron's bat Ol. Missing his hands, too. Oh, and then here we have, uh, this is the slot machine. It says slot machine right on it. But again, man, the stickers on this are just in great shape. Oh, look at that. It even works. Ah, that's so good. So good. Very nice. Let's see if we can change him. Fold his face up. Arms are here. I'm guessing they slide out. I don't know. Maybe they don't. Maybe they just slide forward like that. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> they can't. They can't all be Optimus Prime or Megatron. Uh, that guy is probably the clunkiest. If I even have him transformed correctly. Uh, but still, that whole set is just so so cool. Hey, look, it's a uh, Power Dasher. I don't. I don't. All right. This episode's going to be called. I don't remember the name of that thing. Uh, this is a Power Dasher. Uh, it says Dynamic Robot on it. Uh, these were one of those like really, really early Transformers that uh, before the main stuff was hitting, uh, they were just kind of grabbing up anything that they could get the license for and ship out. I don't, I don't know if these were exclusive mail order. I'd have to look that up, but uh, just a cool ship design. At a time when you know kids weren't really that discerning about the kinds of robots that that you were getting and while you might have kind of thought that they didn't match each other you didn't really care that much uh this is a uh voltron this is the like motorized rollback ones which was always weird um i never had this one i wanted it because it was a cool scaled down version of voltron essentially the same thing i mean you've got the articulated jaws uh, but they've all got wheels on them which was kind of silly why would they need wheels oh here's a uh protecto bot We'll put that aside. Maybe there'll be more of those in here. Hey, look, it's another Protectobot. Very cool. And these are in really nice shape as well. This, I have no idea what this is. Uh, what does it say on the bottom here? 1985 Topps Chewing Gum. <laughs> I definitely don't know what that thing is. Let me know if you've ever seen this before. If you know what that is. Uh, that is uh, unknown to me. Oh, here we got the Green Lion. Again, same uh, same basic functionality as the full size piece. Uh, articulated jaw. His head doesn't fire off, obviously, but this would absolutely connect to the black lion if the black lion is here. So far, we've got 40% of Lion Voltron. Hey, look, it's a Rock Lord. This guy. I think I've got one of these already. These guys show up uh, quite frequently in uh, flea market bins or just always you know if if somebody's getting rid of a collection of 80s stuff you'll usually find one or two of these in there um this one i've had uh for a while um i always dug that design uh oh here's another converter or uh first actual converter uh he's missing he's in real good shape other than uh this one wing 
probably bust it off. We'll see if it's in there. Um, hopefully it can be, I don't think it's going to be able to be repaired. That's, yeah, it probably broke off there. But might be able to glue it or something. Some kind of stag beetle. I don't know exactly what type of creature that is. Let me make a little room here. There's a lot of stuff in this box. <laughs> hey, we got a uh, vintage Darth Vader. No cape, no lightsaber. We've got uh, no idea what this is. Some sort of junky knockoff. Oop, Dino Drive. Yeah, I don't remember what these were called either. HC toy. Uh, clearly missing some pieces. But yeah, no, this this was one of those like, oh, you said you wanted a GoBot. And you're like, oh my God, you found me something worse than a GoBot. I love GoBots. Let's not start that whole thing. Uh, and I collected a lot of GoBots back in the day. I have no idea what this is. Man, this, uh, this box of stuff really putting me on the spot with the whole toy ID thing. This guy, another Rock Lord. Snap that open, do this, fold the feet out. There we go, there we go. And the arms, swing out. I'm sure he had some rock-based name, Granitor. Cal Calcinite, something like that. Eh, there we go. Alright, so we got two Rock Lords there, that's cool. I uh, definitely didn't have that guy. Um, Alright, so hang on. Oh man, I should have I planned better here. This is not working out great. Right, we got... I think this probably goes back here with these things. This is Psykill's wheel. Uh, oh, okay, so this... Oh, here's a GoBot, Night Ranger. He's in real nice shape, too. This one always made a really good motorcycle. Not such a great... And actually, it had kind of a neat transformation. But as I recall, like, you know, a lot of GoBots were hit or miss. And that goes for Transformers, too, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how to transform this. Hang on. Nope, that doesn't feel right. There we go. Trying to move it enough not to break it. Yeah, that slides out a little more no I don't want to bust that there it is okay that goes like that this goes like this I thought that slid down no nope. there it is so yeah not the best looking robot mode but you know not the worst honestly <laughs> I don't know if that's an indictment of uh, oh you know what this I think this slides in too he's, he's way too there it is He's way too tall. Uh, actually, you know what? I take that back. One of the nicer ones. Definitely a nice piece. Good uh, as far as uh, robot and vehicle modes in the, in this era, between Transformers and Gobots, this one's actually a, a pretty nice one. So Psykill's wheel is here. I don't know if Psykill is actually in this box. We got a Bespin Han. Oh, we got the Red Lion. So we're up to sixty percent of the pullback wheelie. Lion Voltron. We've got a Cosmos. You know how that transforms. I'm not always time doing that one. We've got uh, Tank Robo. I think it was Tank Robo. Or uh, Battle... No, about... Uh, I can't remember if this is Tank... Yeah, Tank Robo. Anyway, uh, one of the early ones. One of the ones that uh, most kids who were getting into GoBots for the first time had that one. This was in real nice shape again. Uh, great stickers on that. Um, this might be a converter. I'm missing a head here. Unless it's somehow... No, it's not collapsed inside. Uh, it looks like another bug type of critter. Um, perhaps the other pieces are inside the box here. And we've got uh, another Starcom piece. Oh, man, just... I love... God, I, like I said, I can't get enough of... Just the utilitarian sort of designs of these things that... It was just like, yeah, you got to deploy this thing to the field, get out, transform it, pops up, but then you still got to do these sort of like refined details. Uh, it just, it has that same puzzle nature of your transformers or your mask or your GoBots, but, you know, just so much more functionality to it. Oh, this one doesn't. I thought these wheels extended, but they don't. Uh, and then now you've got two figures can go in here, one guy driving, one guy uh, as the gunner. And then, you know, you need to get back to the base, get back to the ship. Just fold it all right back up. Oh, man. That goes like that. This goes like this. This locks it in place. 
put the guns in, collapse the wheels. Ah, I love it so much. And these rubber wheels are in real great shape, too. Another really nice piece. Thank you, mysterious box donator. Oh, we got a piece of... Oh, hey, look, here's one of those figures. Ah, I wish I remember. It was Battle... Battle Power, Power something, Power Battle... I don't remember what it was called. Uh, Tyco, I think, or... Um, um, the Train Company? I don't know. But, but this is one of the tiny little figures, and it is tiny. Here he is next to, you know, Bespin Han. Uh, and it's kind of rubbery. Like, his arms and legs are kind of rubbery. And this is uh, t the the bad guys. <laughs> there were uh, good guy figures, too. And I'm going to assume this glows in the dark. And that just snaps onto uh, a corresponding peg, but not that particular peg. Oh, and then this, uh, another, con I think... My apologies uh, to all the Converters fans out there that I keep calling all of these Converters. If, uh, you know, I don't apologize. There's a lot of stuff to remember, and uh, <laughs> I don't remember all the stuff. Uh, and and so much of this stuff I've never owned, uh, especially this uh, this piece, this guy, this guy. Never owned these before, so it's I don't have any real connection to them. So it's neat to see him in person. This guy's got all kinds of busted piece, busted piece, busted piece, busted pieces there. Uh, I don't know if that one's really going to be fixable. We've got this. Oh, okay. So this is... Oh, we got a Lego piece there. This is all... This is Mantec, which I have never seen one of these in person before. So this is a very interesting piece. Um, I know I saw a helmet, but I don't think there's a head in here. I don't know much about Mantec other than it was by Remco yeah, uh, 1983, and that this was sort of like their big key line that year. You had interchangeability of parts, kind of a precursor to Centurions, uh, where you could mix and match pieces. I mean, this this should be a Glios thing today, uh, if nobody's already working on that. Somebody should be getting on that, uh, because this was really just the, the precursor to that. All these parts uh, can mix and match. There's, you know, air, sea, land, troops, all those sorts of things, just like you would see a few years later in Centurions. Uh, all right, let's get through the rest of this box real quick here. All right, so we've got some more Transformers. Uh, oh, we got a piece of uh, Perceptor's uh, actual, um, what am I trying to say, his uh, cannon or his uh, scope. We've got a couple more changeables. Man, all this stuff in this box. I always, uh, <laughs> I never realized this was like an Egg McMuffin. I always thought it was like a zombie hamburger or something, one that it was just like stale and had been left out too long. We've got uh, another Rock Lord. This guy, I'm not going to take the time to change that right now. Look at this, we got uh, one, two... Okay, so no, wait, this is Transformers. That's a... But these are from Puzzler, the GoBots combiner. And then we've got Yellow Lion. So we got four of the lions. I didn't see... Uh, I'm not seeing the uh, Black Lion, unfortunately. Uh, this goes with uh, Transformers. Um, this should have another truck piece that attaches to it. We should have another gun there, hopefully. But maybe not. Ah, look at this adorable <laughs> little Valkyrie. Oh, that's great. Uh, this is actually a pretty... This is actually a very clever transformation, uh, simplifying a complex transformation into something much, much, much simpler, but still pretty effective and uh, way super adorable. That's pretty clever, actually. Look at all these cassettes. One, two, three, four. All right, so we got... Four cassettes. We've got uh, um, Ramhorn. I don't remember if this is Eject or Rewind. And then uh, Beast Box and Squawk Talk. No weapons, but man, these guys are in real nice shape. Just like all of this. Like, not a lot of busted stuff. Uh, not a lot of dirty stuff. Everything's in really, really good condition. Um, I don't even care if they're not complete, because I have all the weapons for these guys anyway. I'm a huge tape collector. We've got uh, Camera. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Robot watch. This isn't the one I had. I had the chrome gold one, and the transformation's a little different. This one's kind of weird because it looks like you would actually take the watch band off, as opposed to uh, as opposed to uh, the one I had. You would actually just take him off. It kind of clipped into a piece, um, but otherwise, I think the transformation is pretty similar. This head rotates around, and the legs just sort of fold down. Oh man, everybody had one of these in like sixth grade, seventh grade, somewhere around there. That's a really, really great piece. Uh, hopefully it still works. Here's the uh, Psych Kill. This is the repaint version. Busted leg. We got a Starcom figure. Oh, look at that. With the visor. Oh, man, that is worth it all the way. Uh, very hard to still find those, uh, the visors intact. Here's that guy's leg. Um, and now we just got some bits and pieces. We got a Lego guy. 
Lego piece, another Lego guy, uh, and then just, oh, hey, here's the, uh, this truck goes with that, this goes over here with you, um, yeah, you have to fold that up, though, uh, and then just a couple of random other bits, we got a mini, uh, Bumblebee, oh, here we go, here's, uh, Voltron's arm, Die Rugger 15, that's in really nice shape, hey, you know, oh, here's, uh, Psykill's other wheel, Zabungaloo's other arm, Man, all this good stuff. I don't know who that hand goes with, but uh, that guy's not in this box. Oh, look at this. It's the uh, Valkyrie's gun. Or Veritech, either way. So good. Lots of really, really great stuff in here. Um, look at this tiny little transformer. I don't know if this was a uh, Gashapon thing or what, but that... Oop, I just took his arm off. That thing is awesome. Anyway, uh, thank you again to the mysterious box donator, if that be you or someone you know. Uh, reminder, always put your name on the stuff, uh, just so that uh, I can properly uh, thank you out, out uh, and sh shout, shout you out. Uh, thank you for watching this and all of our videos. Hit like, hit subscribe, check out our Patreon if you're in the position to help the channel grow. Thank you. Later.